Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brandon Gozuar, and today we're going to be reviewing Finding Dory. Andrew Stanton is back now with co-writer Bob Peterson and co-director Angus McLean for 2016 Pixar Finding Dory. My head almost exploded from all of the cuteness. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And now that we're done talking about the Pixar short Piper, let's get on with the movie, shall we? Baby Dory. Nuff said. Finding Dory is the most perfect sequel to Finding Nemo any Disney fanatic or regular moviegoer could ask for. I give this movie, like, Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3 status. I'm not even joking. This was awesome. Let me start off by saying that Finding Dory could have held its own if Finding Nemo had never even been a thing. And it does exactly that after about 20 minutes or so, give or take. It really holds its own. The references to Finding Nemo had me fanboying so hard in my seat. I don't even care if anybody saw me. Which they probably did. My girlfriend and I even silently gave each other some Finn. Oh wait, do it. Come on, come on, let's do it. Finn. Noggin. Dude. It was so awesome, especially how smoothly the references incorporated each other into the movie. It's kind of difficult to even imagine the movie without them. The nostalgia was heavy, and it was perfect. Finding Dory is the story of how Dory actually remembers her family and goes on a journey to find them and takes Marlin and Nemo along with her, who actually really plunged through puberty within a year. Their time. Pixar geniusly transformed that supporting little blue tang into an extremely successful main character. Everything about this sequel just worked. Finding Dory is not a movie that should be compared to Finding Nemo in any way. Instead, it should be thought of as a continuation of the classic story. Because it's exactly that. Finding Dory had me crying three times. Three times! Dear Pixar, please stop playing with my emotions. Or not, because you're actually really, really good at it. Hank the Octopus was an awesome wingman, and Bailey and Destiny were amazing cute little helpers. That's all I'm saying about them because I want you guys to experience them for the first time on your own because they really deserve that. It's well worth it. Hannah and I were running extremely late for the movie. I barely had enough time to run to that theater, throw on my glasses, and turn my head to the screen before Piper started. We were that close, and I really had to pee once we got there. I was even contemplating the best time for me to get up and use the restroom. It was that bad. But two minutes in, I was so captivated into the story that I completely forgot that I even had to go. That reminds me. One minute, guys. Anyways, Finding Dory was a fantastic sequel with tons of laughter, tears, mild anxiety, and so much heart. Pixar, you are genius. Children will love the movie, adults will love the movie, there is so much in this movie for everyone of all ages to love. And I can almost bet that it will be loved by so many age groups in so many different ways. Finding Dory was just as amazing as Finding Nemo. I am definitely throwing my money at Disney to go see this movie a few more times in the theater and to buy this movie and add it to my movie collection. Which is really, 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 really tiny. I think I have about five movies in that collection. So that's saying something. So did you guys see Finding Dory yet? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about the movie. Make sure to hit that like button and press that subscribe button for more Disney goodness every single Tuesday and Friday. My name's Brandon Goes Rar, and with that I leave you with peace, love, unity and respect and don't forget to just keep swimming